So I've been talking about and updating you guys on the news stories about a potential Elizabeth Warren or Bernie Sanders um, uh, appointing in the Biden cabinet. Now, it was already controversial as to, you know, is Biden really going to pick them considering that, you know, they're pretty more significantly left wing than he is. And so it was already extremely questionable as to whether or not he was going to do it. But the failure in the Senate um, and the House, for that matter, but especially the failure in the Senate uh, really is going to make it pretty much impossible to pick Bernie or Warren, because even if they pull off a miracle, that being the Democrats picking up both runoffs in Georgia, um, even in that scenario, it's a 50-50 tie that gets broken by Kamala Harris. Even in that scenario, you have Joe Manchin in the Democratic Party. And um, honestly, even if you didn't, you know, have that, the problem is when you're when you go into the administration, you're no longer able to be senator. You can't be senator concurrently with being in the administration, which means you lose your Senate seat. Now that in both of those scenarios, the governor picks. And the thing is, in both of their states, I believe in both, uh, the governor is a Republican. So they could literally rep replace it with a Republican, which could make it virtually impossible, um, logistically speaking, because you don't want to have Republicans in there. I guess in 2008, Obama was ridiculed uh, because he was taking too many people from the Senate into his cabinet. Um, but what's interesting is, um, according to this report from The Hill, Senate Republicans wouldn't even allow them to get through. So it says Senate Republicans are warning that President-elect Joe Biden would spark a fight if he were to nominate Senator Elizabeth Warren and Senator Bernie Sanders or former National Security Advisor Susan Rice to his cabinet. Um, and so what it says here is Republicans are already seeking leverage by saying Biden would be better off picking centrists such as Senator Chris Coons or Doug Jones for his cabinet rather than the progressive stars Warren and Sanders. GOP lawmakers declined to speak publicly about their expected opposition to Warren and Sanders, who are both their colleagues. But privately, they're warning that tapping a senator with outspoken liberal views to head the Treasury Department or Labor Department would spark a fight. I had a colleague of mine say there's no way Elizabeth Warren or Susan Rice could ever get confirmed, said one GOP senator. The lawmaker said, quote, it would be a fight if Biden tapped Warren, Sanders, or Rice. Um, it says, some GOP senators think Warren could get through because of her credentials. That's an interesting, uh, that's an interesting point there. Uh, it says, if Biden nominated Warren as Treasury Secretary and the Senate held the vote, some senators think she would easily win 50-plus votes. I would not be one of those to stop the nomination, said one of the GOP senators. They could get all the Democrats and 10 Republicans. So that's pretty fascinating there. Uh, there are real questions over whether a nomination of Warren, Sanders, or Rice would get to a vote in a GOP-majority Senate. So here's another piece. It's a Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has made it a policy not to bring bills to the floor that divide his conference. And he's yet to explain to fellow GOP senators what his policy would be for controversial Biden nominees. So pretty much what was going on in the Senate right now is, um, you know, the House would pass something. It would never even say any daylight whatsoever in the Senate. Uh, that's probably why the House passed a bunch of progressive stuff, because they knew it wasn't going to even get a vote in the Senate. Um, but, you know, Mitch McConnell wouldn't even bring it up for a vote. So it was just essentially sent to the graveyard is what he called it, you know. Um, so pretty much what you see here is it's pretty difficult for either of them to get in. I would hope that Warren gets in. Again, you know, I'm pretty sure in Massachusetts the governor is a Republican. So that kind of makes it a difficult situation. The real lack of numbers really makes it difficult. Now, I honestly believe you're going to lose both. I think you're going to lose both runoffs. Maybe Warnock wins, but I'm not even sure about that. Okay, that might pull off. I don't think Ossoff's going to win. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe that would be good for you, but then maybe that comes back to bite you in a real nail-biter situation. I don't really know. It's really difficult to go from the Senate to the Cabinet just because of the logistics around it. Numbers are pretty slim in the Senate. It's pretty rare you have, like, a big uh, lead in the Senate. And, you know, the replacement process is a lot different um, than something like a house seat. So it's kind of difficult, you know, kind of difficult for sure. But seems unfortunate. Probably not going to see Bernie or Warren in the Biden cabinet, unfortunately.